Hey everyone! Okay, so today I'm coming to you with a video to show you all how I actually wash my pads um, and also how I used to wash my cloth diapers because they can basically go hand in hand, just one's a bigger load than the other. Um, I just got back a couple hours ago from helping my friend with her cloth diaper crisis, so <laughs> figured now is a perfect time to do that while I was able to. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Collecting all the laundry. Okay, so I am not going to be washing pads or diapers. This is actually a towel load, but I was going to go through and show you how much I put in and times and soil level, soil levels. Oh my goodness, and stuff like that. Um, I am moving, so my house is basically a wreck. So don't pay attention to any of the craziness you may encounter. Um, <clears throat> so let's get started. Now, first things first. I use Tide, and I'm going to tell you why. I live in an area where the water is incredibly hard. Um, so because of that, a lot of these cloth diaper safe detergents and the free and clears and stuff like that, they just don't seem to work as well. The uh, hard water just seems to cancel it out, and it just doesn't clean as well, and yada yada. So I use Tide. Tide seems to clean the best, stay and treat the best, and wash out the easiest. So that's why. Now, I actually use those can those canisters like you have in your kitchen to hold your flour and sugar and all that. I use those to hold my hold on a sec. Sorry, interrupted. <laughs> Anyways, I use those to hold my powders because I hate looking at the tide boxes and I get the big box from Big Lots for $24. It's a load of 160 so it's a beast and I really don't like having that out in the open with the kids and everything so I actually use see if I can lift it with one hand this is heavy I use one of these bad boys okay this is the one that has my Tide powder in it see it's got the spoon and this one is the smaller version we're good and I have my OxyClean in this okay so, let's get going. Um, I actually have a load of towels in here, so this is going to be heavy duty. Okay, so my camera won't turn around now that I'm filming, unlike my other one. So we're going to do it this way, okay? Here's the thing when you open it up. This is the pre-wash, this is the wash, bleach, and fabric softener, okay? So, we're going to come over here. OxyClean, Tide, and for pads, I would put a tablespoon of OxyClean in, okay? I'm doing towels, so I'm going to do two. Even with diapers, I only do one, So, but that's my personal thing. I know a lot of people won't agree with how I do this, which is totally fine. You're more than welcome to have your own opinions. I'm just telling you all what works best for me based on my area. Okay, sorry, now I'm back. Okay, so I just put my OxyClean in, as you can see, in the pre-wash. I only did one spoonful. Now I'm gonna put my Tide in. Ouch, ouch. Now, with this, I would do half a scoop to one scoop for pads because, let's face it, you're not gonna have a very big load with pads usually and probably two scoops for cloth diapers um, I wouldn't do any more than that because you're gonna have to do an extra rinse cycle anyways because you want to make sure you get all of the soap bubbles out so that the soap doesn't stay in the items and then react with urine or blood so that's just why now because I'm doing towels I'm gonna be putting freshener in there softener I mean so don't do this with diapers or pads. <clears throat> okay, so let's. Okay, so Tide, OxyClean, and that's my fabric softener, which you wouldn't use. All right, here we go. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna put it to cotton. Now, I'm going to leave this on warm. I would use warm for both um, pads and diapers. So I'm here, my son. Keep the spin level the same. 
and I'm going to do this one for my towels and I would do this one for diapers too. So it's on the next level up before very heavily soiled. I would keep it at normal for pads. It's more than enough. And then also, let me see, I would do an extra rinse. This might come out backwards for you guys, so I'm sorry, but this is an extra rinse, okay? If you're doing diapers, I will suggest maybe doing a pre-wash. With the pre-wash, um, do warm water, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't really worry about putting anything in it. If you do, maybe some OxyClean. Um, the thing with the pre-wash is basically just to help with um, getting all the urine out before you actually wash, okay? But that's it. That's as easy as it gets. There's no extra tricks or steps or anything like that. It's that simple and done. So anyways, I hope this helped you all and I will talk to you all again soon. I probably won't get to do any more videos until after my move, but, oh well, at least I'll have a bigger house. So I will talk to you all again soon. Have a wonderful week, and catch you later.